Our congratulations to New Mexico. Uh, we know what it feels like to be where they are right now, still on that court celebrating. And that's where we expect it to be, which is why it, it, uh, it hurts when you're not. And yet the reality of it is we're not and they are. Uh, I thought that we at times played too fast and did ourselves in a little bit. New Mexico probably had something to do with that also. So the most important thing that I told our guys is how proud I am of what they've done throughout this season. And they are, in our minds, uh, champions and deserving champions. And the beauty is tomorrow we're going to have a 180 in terms of how we feel. But right now we're pretty, we're, we don't feel good, and we shouldn't. But we also have the opportunity to be playing next week, which we will have, and the following week, and the following week, which we could. Thank you, Coach. We'll now open up for questions for the student-athletes. Kyle Glazer, Victorville Daily Press. Uh, Jamal, uh, cameras appeared to catch you um, giving a middle finger to the referee just before halftime on NBC Sports. Um, would you comment on if that if that's what happened? It's what it appeared on 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 the film. No, not at all. Okay, and then just um, one other question, um, just for everyone. Uh, the team um, struggled shooting the ball today, uh, thirty percent around uh, around thirty percent. What was the cause of the struggles? Was it something New Mexico was doing defensively specifically? Uh, New Mexico played good defense. They played hard. They played real tough. But um, we just struggled today. Um, one thing person we could blame is ourselves, but you got to give credit to New Mexico. Other questions for our student athletes? Okay, thank you, man. Now take questions for Coach Fisher. Hey, Steve, Mark Smith, Albuquerque Journal. Uh, did they do anything uh, different defensively? Uh, with being a much more physical group than uh, you had seen the last two times? I don't think so, Mark. Uh, I thought we were atypical for whatever reason. And, and again, I, I don't want to dismiss what New Mexico did. They're a terrific basketball team. We shot it too quickly, especially early. Um, and we've talked about don't settle. Don't settle for a quick, hard shot. Quick, good shots, fine. And we had some of those that didn't go in. Um, but I thought we were in, we, we looked like we were playing twice as fast as we should be playing at the offensive end. And, you, and I couldn't get us to settle into any kind of a rhythm, and it, and it showed. Speaking of your playing and uh, playing your third game in three days with a team that doesn't have much depth, how does that how does that play into this that that you didn't want this team playing that fast that early? Uh, I, by fast, Nick, I mean uh, I mean just we just get it and try to do something, uh, just to shoot it a little bit too quick and. And I don't know that the lack of depth had anything to do with that piece to it. I just, we just couldn't settle into any kind of a flow offensively. And the more we missed, the faster we played. And that ain't, that ain't, that ain't a good combination to be able to do. And, and, and we tried to, tried to make a couple of subs, tried to talk about it at timeouts and we weren't quite able to get it under control, and uh, I mean, I I know I'm talking in circles a little bit, but I, I I from my perspective, I thought defensively you can play fast, you can play fast and hard, and you know they're a good team. I thought when uh, 
when Garrett Green came in, we, we found a guy that could neutralize a little bit, Drew Garden, and we didn't have to sink and didn't give him as many looks on the perimeter when we tried to have a you know, man and a half or two people thinking about him. And we, we settled down a little bit better defensively, but we, we struggled offensively. Back here. Steve Ed Green, um, last year you're sitting here and they're talking about maybe a one, definitely a two. When you consider how close this league has been with you three teams all year, now that it's, you're going on, do you have any thoughts in terms of where this league is going to fall on seeds and what you think maybe New Mexico or you deserve given what you've seen in the past with seeds and how they play out? Ed, I really don't, and I, I'll be real honest with you. They, my, my other guys tell me what others are saying about us, and, and they, they always refer to Lenardi, who appears to be the guy that, that comes closest to being on point with what, what's going on. But I really don't know. Um, obviously, seeding has an impact, and yet we've all seen – VCU win an extra game, play the, playing in a playing game. All of a sudden, they're in the Final Four. So we've got to celebrate tomorrow, not today. Tomorrow, we've got to celebrate how good we are with 26 wins and look forward to playing whoever, wherever, and with whatever seed we've got. But I really don't know. I do think that if they look and say, this is a good league, look what they've done, that it could have a chance to raise all of us up a little bit. Uh, but... For, for me to comment intelligent, I got no clue. Let's go right here. Steve, uh, Tony Snell came out, hit some real big shots early. How much of a difference did that make in uh, kind of opening things up for them? And uh, he also seemed to be running J- Jamal crazy all day uh, with his movement. Did that kind of wear him, Jamal down a little bit? Jamal wasn't on him to start the game. We were small, and I think James Rahan was on him to start uh, We recruited Tony Snell. I thought we had Tony Snell. He played with Kawhi Leonard. Uh, I knew how good he was. He's good. He's good. And everybody's goal is you've got to smother him and don't let him get an open look. Sometimes he makes baskets when he's smothered. And he was, he really was. He set the tenor for them offensively with those early hard shots. And I think he had eight point, eight of their first ten points or something like that to start the game. He was very good.